Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, July 1st. I'm James Spann. Temperatures trending down this week. Rain chances trending up as we approach the 4th of July. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at uh, the insane hour of 5 a.m. There's Highway 280. Not many folks out there. That's the view coming from the uh, Wingate Inn. Uh, and again, the sky there is mostly fair. There's a look at downtown Jasper, as seen from the King Building. And Gulf Shores, as seen from the Phoenix All Suites. If you're beachbound this week, eh, going to be a little wet, uh, especially over the latter half of the week. In fact, the rain looks likely uh, by Wednesday, the 4th of July, and Friday. And that's not going to say it's going to rain the whole time. It won't, but very limited amounts of sun and pretty good rain chances over the latter half of this week, as you'll see. All right, high amplitude pattern. Come on, that doesn't look like summer. Uh, I got a nice cool trough over the east and a blazing hot ridge out west. And you can see those uh, heat levels are pretty extreme. Uh, Las Vegas yesterday hit 117. And I do believe that tied their all-time record high. But what nobody wants to talk about, it's the cool over the east. I mean, uh, highs only in the 70s over uh, like St. Louis and Chicago and Indianapolis, didn't that sound good? Around here, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston did not see 90 yesterday, and we expect no 90s around here all week long. And you can see the contrast uh, to the east. We have flash flood warnings up from the Carolinas up into New England. and Out west, you've got the excessive heat warnings and the heat advisories. Severe weather not expected to be a big issue uh, today. No formal risk, just a few pockets uh, where 5% probabilities are listed, and the same thing tomorrow. Hey, look at the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock local time. Rain amounts over two inches over a pretty good chunk of central and east Alabama. The bullseye, 4.4 inches up in the northeast corner of Georgia. And unfortunately, the Gulf Coast looks pretty wet. That's a 5.7-inch bullseye right around Pensacola Beach. So again, uh, just kind of think wet if you're beachbound this week. But no tropical storm issues. Uh, tropical storm formation not expected across the Atlantic Basin uh, anytime soon. All right, model fans, this is the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars, 594 heat, nastiness out west. But a nice cool trough over the east. And uh, down below that, uh, widely scattered showers today. The uh, dew points are pretty low. Dew points are down in the low 60s, so... The, the moisture is quite limited. Highs in the mid, maybe upper 80s. And uh, there's a look at the RPM, the high resolution uh, model. And this is at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And you can see the shower should be pretty widely spaced. This is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And really the same thing. Uh, widely scattered showers. Uh, chance of any one spot getting wet in the 20% bracket for the northern half of the state, and really the same thing for the Gulf Coast. I mean, the, 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 the most of the sunshine this week will be today and tomorrow. But on Wednesday, you can see how moisture levels are increasing and the coverage of showers and storms are increasing and highs will drop into the low and mid-80s. More clouds than sun. And here's the weather for Independence Day, the 4th of July. And the trough axis is a little west of the state. You can see that's uh, in between the ridge out west and that 594 a high that's over the Atlantic, and down below that, it just looks wet. A, a very deep plume of moisture. We'll expect showers and thunderstorms, not all day, but at times, pretty good chunk of the day with highs only in the low 80s. In fact, uh, you know, where it rains early enough in the day, some folks won't get out of the 70s. And really, the same thing on Friday. It looks pretty wet with occasional showers and storms. So uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, much cooler than average because of the clouds and rain and wet. Now, Saturday as we start the weekend, that 594 ridge is starting to nose in here from the Atlantic. Uh, and if indeed that is the case, the showers will start to thin out and the weather heats up. 
this is suggesting just a few scattered showers and storms on Saturday. And by Sunday, that looks pretty dry. And that would be pretty hot with that ridge coming in here. Uh, if this is right, highs would edge up toward the low, maybe mid-90s. But remember, we'll have a lot of soil moisture, and that tends to keep the heat down. And here's a week from today, and that's not good looking for us. If this is right, a 594 heat bubble would be on top of us. And down below that would be just mostly sunny and hot with mid-90s. So, hey, this is summer. Despite the you know below average numbers this week, we all know the 90s will come back. We'll go out there toward the end of the forecast, July the 16th, and that's what July the 16th ought to look like. The westerlies are up in Canada. We have a flat 588 ridge. Hot, muggy, a few scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.